Welcome back. We're following breaking news from overnight. The Kansas House is debating right now a bill that would limit Governor Laura Kelly's executive powers, specifically when it comes to state emergencies like COVID-19. Yeah, they're in hour 22 of this debate. They've been at this since yesterday on what was supposed to be the final day of the session on Thursday. Even if they pass this, even if that happens, it will most likely be given an automatic veto when it reaches the governor's desk. So it's interesting to see exactly what they're trying to do here. Brian Madrick joins us live from the newsroom right now. Brian, you've been watching this all morning. Is this a fool's errand at this point? What's going to happen here? Well, we'll have to just wait and see. This has been happening all night and all morning, a real marathon session. The debate's still happening right now, and I'm keeping a close eye on it as we speak. Now, lawmakers in the House debating a bill that the Senate passed early this morning by a vote of 27 to 11. That legislation, it limits the governor's emergency powers, as you explained. Now, I want you to take a live look once again at the Kansas House, where a debate continues. This bill requires Governor Kelly to get permission from lawmakers to keep businesses closed or to exercise other broad powers granted to governors during emergencies after May 31st. Legislative leaders would also have final say over how the state spends $1.25 billion in coronavirus relief funds. Late Wednesday night, Republican State Attorney General Derek Schmidt suggested that the governor has been on, quote, legally suspect ground for three weeks. Before the session, Governor Kelly's office released a response to the vote that reads in part, this is not an honest conversation about reviewing and modernizing chemo or the Kansas Emergency Management Act. If it were, the Attorney General would not have released his legal opinion in the middle of the night right before the last day of the legislative session. So we expect a vote in the House before 8 o'clock. Of course, we will keep an eye on what happens and let you know soon as a vote happens, either on air or online. Also important to note that in the Senate, in the House, Republicans have the majority. The big question, of course, when this goes to the governor, will there be enough votes to override that veto? We will be watching everything that develops in Topeka. But for now, and in the newsroom, I'm Bryant Madrick, 41 Action News, 138 The Spot.